It's good to have you with us here on WDTV.com, your source for local weather and news information. We've got some active weather going on for your Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. Strong thunderstorms in the area, especially before 9 p.m. and especially west of I-79. Flooding will be possible as we progress through the overnight hours of this evening as well. So we'll be watching for numerous hazards and we'll talk more about these thunderstorms in a second. We'll eventually dry out here for late stages of Thursday, Friday and the weekend at this point looking pretty good. So in the meantime though, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect. It means that severe thunderstorms are possible in and around the watch area, which goes through 9 p.m. for locations generally along and west of I-79. Winds could gust up to 60 miles an hour. Hail could get up to two inches in diameter. In any of the stronger storms, I think the bigger threat though is flooding. And the National Weather Service has a flash flood watch in effect for most of north central West Virginia through 6 a.m. for our counties that are close to the Pennsylvania border for points south of there till 2 a.m. So we'll be watching these. I think the biggest threat will be the uh, flash flooding. So let's how, see how it looks for the next 48 hours with your future cast. As we go through the evening hours, numerous showers and thunderstorms, especially for our locations west of I-79. We're looking at 1 a.m. here, so things will start to gradually quiet down and dry up as we get into the late stages of tonight, say after 1 or 2 in the morning. But there will still be some showers and thunderstorms off and on for much of the night and flooding is a distinct possibility. Now this is 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. What we're going to see is we're going to have some cooler, drier air working its way in. So from the northwest to the southeast, we are going to lose those showers and those thunderstorms as we get into the early part of the afternoon. So by 4 p.m., it looks like we are dry and we'll start to feel that lower humidity. We'll also get the skies to clear out for Thursday night into Friday morning. What does it mean? It means a uh, cooler start with temperatures getting back into the upper 50s for lows. Maybe a little bit of fog as well. The ground has a lot of moisture left in it for Friday morning. This is 7 a.m. and low humidity for the afternoon hours. Lots of sunshine and a great way to end the week on Friday. So strong storms possible for your Wednesday night and Thursday morning with some hail, some winds, tree damage and power outages will be possible. I think flooding is the biggest concern we have. Temperature wise only dropping into the upper 60s and lower 70s. For the day on Thursday, we'll see the rain ending from northwest to southeast. We'll start to feel some lower humidity working its way into the area and some sunshine, I think, at times for the late stages of tomorrow. Temperature wise, we'll get to about 78, 79, 80 or 81 degrees for most of our area. And then for the weekend, things are looking pretty good. We'll have high pressure working its way in. We'll have lower humidity. It's going to be pretty nice this week and a good summer weekend coming up with most of it being dry. Now we can't rule out a thunderstorm popping up in the higher terrain east of I-79 on Sunday. Humidity is still quite comfortable. Very spotty showers and storms Monday and Tuesday. Severe weather not expected, but as always, we'll keep watching as we get closer. Wednesday for now, warm and dry.